So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. Mr. Secretary, was the president here asking you for exactly what he wanted, one more vote than his opponent? What I knew is that we didn't have any votes to find. We had continued to look. Uh, we investigated, like I just shared the numbers with you. There were no votes to find. That was an accurate count that had been certified. And as our general counsel said, there was no shredding of ballots. Mr. Secretary, after making this request, the president then goes back to the danger of having you deny these allegations of fraud. Let's listen to that part of the clip. And I watched you this morning and you said, uh, well, there was no criminality, but I, I mean, all of this stuff is, is very dangerous stuff. It's, when you talk about no criminality, I think it's very dangerous for you to say that. Secretary Raffensperger, you wrote about this in your book uh, and you said, quote, I felt then and still believe today that this was a threat. Others obviously thought so too, because some of Trump's more radical followers have responded as if it was their duty to carry out this threat. Please tell us what you, your wife, even your daughter-in-law experienced regarding threats from Trump's more radical followers. Well, after the, ele after the election, uh, my email, my cell phone was doxxed, and so I was getting texts all over the country, and then eventually my wife started getting the uh, text, and hers typically came in as sexualized uh, texts, which were disgusting. You have to understand that uh, Trish and I, we met in high school, and we've been married over 40 years now, and so um, they started going after her, I think, just to probably put pressure on me, why don't you just quit, walk away? And so that happened. And then some people broke into my daughter-in-law's uh, home, and uh, my son has passed, and she's a widow, and uh, has two kids, and so we're very concerned about her safety also. And Mr. Secretary, why didn't you just quit and walk away? Because I knew that we had followed the law and we had followed the Constitution. And I think sometimes moments require you to stand up and, and just take the shots when you're doing your job. And that's all we did. You know, we just followed the law and we followed the Constitution. And at the end of the day, President Trump came up short. But I had to be faithful to the Constitution. And that's what I swore I know to do. During the remainder of the call, the former president continued to press you to find the remaining votes that would ensure his victory in Georgia. Let's listen to a little more. Why wouldn't you want to find the right answer, Brad, instead of keep saying that the numbers are right? So look, uh, can you get together tomorrow? And Brad, we just want the truth. It's simple. And, uh, and everyone's going to look very good if the truth comes out. It's OK. It take a little while. But let the truth come out. The and the, tr the real truth is I won by 400,000 votes, at least. So, wh so what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. Four days after the president's call to Secretary Raffensperger was January 6th. The president whipped up the crowd in front of the ellipse, once again promoting the allegation that Secretary Raffensperger, the president's own attorney general, had told him was false. Here he is on the ellipse. In Fulton County, Republican poll watchers were ejected, in some cases physically, from the room under the false pretense of a pipe burst, water main burst, everybody leave, which we now know was a total lie. Then election officials pulled boxes, Democrats, and suitcases of ballots out from under a table. You all saw it on television. Totally fraudulent. And illegally scanned them for nearly two hours, totally unsupervised. Tens of thousands of votes. This act coincided with a mysterious vote dump of up to 100,000 votes for Joe Biden. Almost none for Trump. Oh, that sounds fair. 